Mont Blanc fountain pen. Great bounce today. I got in a fountain pen. It doesn't sound that exciting, but it's very exciting when you're going to find out what this particular pen is worth. And actually, the history of the pen is very interesting. I know it doesn't sound like it, but it is. Mont Blanc. What is Mont Blanc? Well, it is a luxury brand. That means they don't make any cheap stuff. There's, it's like a Lamborghini. They don't make cheap Lamborghinis. You know, we Chevy did the Corvette and the Chevette, but not Mont Blanc. They just make the Corvette, the Corvette, the Cadillac. This is a fountain pen. Let's talk about the history of the company itself, and then we'll talk about the history of the pen. Now, Mont Blanc was started in 1906. 1906. In 1906, they had the first radio broadcast. I don't know if anyone even had a radio for anyone to hear it, but they did have it. San Francisco earthquake happened, and a company started a business, business machine company called Xerox. And a guy named Bugsy Siegel was born. So a lot has happened since 1906, but Mont Blanc is still around. Now, it was originally called the Simplo pen filler company it was started in hamburg germany this is a german company so you know it's probably pretty well made and pretty well thought out germans make great stuff and they eventually changed their name to mont blanc now why mont blanc well mont blanc is a mountain it is the highest mountain in the alps in europe and that's where they got this name now you can see here this little symbol and it's also on the top of the pen you'll see that that is representative of what mont blanc looks like from above that's a snow cap that is a snow cap there and then if we look at the nymph here it also says 4810 it's a very it's used a lot in their particular marketing what where would they get 4810 well it's 4,810 meters high, Mont Blanc is. So that's what they did to get this. Now, this particular pen, it, they do make a lot of fakes of this because any luxury items are going to make fakes. How can you tell this is a real one? Well, there's 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 different ways to tell. Um, after 1990, it says made in Germany underneath, underneath here. Uh, this is from the 80s. It has Germany written here. Um, this is a Meisterstruck. And there's there's a couple symbols. It's just, and you can tell these are these are made of resin. It's not plastic. And I'll show you how to check on those as well. Um, these these particular pens are highly sought after, and they're very desirable. And they're they're fountain pens. We still use fountain pens today, of course, um, mainly in calligraphy because you can do different thicknesses. With a ballpoint pen, you can just write, but you can do different thicknesses here, and it's got a cool, cool thing here. This is actually made of 14 karat gold. There's 585 written right there. Now, 585, what does that mean? 585 means 14 karat gold. That means it's 58.5% gold. I don't know why they didn't go to 59, but it's 585. See, some, they do make 18 karat gold ones, and those would be marked 750 because it's 75% gold. Now, these particular pens, this did come with a with a guarantee. It has a warranty for this particular pen, a full one-year warranty. So, if you get this pen, you've got a whole year warranty. Unless you, it's on leap year, you get an extra day. There is instructions. There's not really a lot. This is, this is more of the guarantee. It's in about 75 different languages. And there's also instructions. Instructions on the Mont Blanc pen. There's not much to it. This is for models 146 and 149. This is a 149. Um, it's a piston pen. It's a precision, precision instrument made of the finest materials available. It is a very cool thing. Now, also with the resin, with plastic, with plastic... Um, reacts a little bit different. So this is a high resin, and I have a, a light here. And resin under light is going to show. Um, you can. I don't. It's hard to see. You can see it always has a red hue there, or a purplish hue. Plastic wouldn't show that particular color. That tells you 
that this is this is just another one of the tests you can use when you come across one of these this fortunately has the box the guarantee everything with it it's a cool pen it's still used today now the history of the pen of course we used to use feathers and dip it in a quill and use all kinds of different instruments and then this was the first invention of kind of the pen it was because you would fill the cartridge here and you could have this these are still used today they go for hundreds of dollars now this this is a ballpoint pen this is i i got this from the bank they tell me to take them now ballpoint pens they're just we all know what they are these were not invented until 1938 um, Lasmo Burrow invented them. He was Hungarian. He saw that the pen, the ink, rather, in newspapers dried a lot quicker. So he came up with a system, and we all know what these look like inside because we've taken many of them apart, and they break pretty easily. Now, what did the first ballpoint pen cost? Well, it cost about $12 to $15, meaning, yes, meaning, in today's money, First ballpoint pen cost 150 bucks. 150 bucks. Now they just give these away at the bank. You can go to the bank and get as many as you want. They just have them. You can tell that these have gotten cheaper and cheaper because if you used to go to the bank, they had them on those big long chains. Remember, and you couldn't take them. You could only write with them certain certain distances. So now they've become so cheap, you can get these pretty cheap. So this used to be $150. Now. I can get buckets and buckets and buckets of them. Now back to this one. As I said, it's this is the Meisterstrug, which means masterpiece. This is a masterpiece of an item. Now this company has gone through some different owners. They started making cheaper pens and more expensive pens. And in 1977, an English company called Dunhill bought them and said, we're going to do away with all the cheaper varieties and just become a luxury brand, and it has worked out for them. So this particular pen, and you can see here, that's the 585 and 1410. It's very cool. It's got all the paperwork. What would this particular pen, in this shape, it's, it, it doesn't look used. It does have all the paperwork. Um, you can date them by the warranty card. Um, so this comes from the 80s. This pen, you, it's hard to even give them away. This particular pen, what do you think this goes for? What is it worth? Well, you might be surprised that this pen goes for about over $300. Some close to $400. It's amazing that this pen has lasted over, not this particular pen, but this company has lasted over 100 years. And they've done it by sticking with that luxury brand. I love the name there. I love the pen. The pen is mightier than the sword, as they say. So I really appreciate you watching. If you, if you would, like, subscribe, share it one time with your friends. And if you ever get to the Alps, go visit Mont Blanc and bring your snow cap.